Well, we've been here in St. Catherine's Dock all week uh, with the first of our new 70-foot boats here, really launching it to the public and the crews, particularly the crews, and showing them the boat they're going to be racing around the world. And uh, showing also the quantum leap that this boat means for us at Clipper. It, it's not just a bigger boat, its design is really at the cutting edge of latest design technology. And I think it's going to be a very exciting boat to sail. And of course the crews want to come down and look at it. Well today we've got what we call crew briefings, the first big crew briefings that we get a lot of the crews together, something like over 300 turning up, and we get a chance to brief them and tell them what's going to happen, what the, as near as we can, what the route's going to be, how the training's going, get your training in, what you should be thinking of, now's the time to start reading up and learning it all, learn your knots, I'm, really, I'm a stickler for those. Um, so today's really a chance for us to explain where we are with the race and for them to ask us questions about it so that, you know, it's communicating really with the crews. Well, of course, they couldn't wait to get out of the uh, lecture hall to come down here and look at the boat. They're all queuing up, desperate to get on board and see what the home's going to look like. And I think, judging from the comments, they're pretty excited by it and so they should be. I'm going all the way round. I decided very early on when I first saw the ad that this is a challenge of a lifetime and it was just worth signing up for the whole race. I think doing a leg I'd be disappointed if I had to get off and I was having a great time. It's the challenge, you know, I think it's an awesome challenge and to come back and say I've done it, you know, you see these celebrities on the news doing challenges that money can't buy. This is a challenge I can buy, you know, and I can come back and inspire other people. If I can do it, they can do it too. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I absolutely love it. It's got more space than the previous ones, but it's still very compact. And, uh, it feels like home, so it's, it's really good. Yeah. I think a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that I've learned on the previous uh, training sessions will be transferred to this boat, but just taken to a new level. So I think it's a great opportunity that we're given to sail this boat. Mm. It's, uh, of course, it's amazing. Uh, the new boat, it's, it, it looks great. It's, it seems to be uh, more spacious inside. It's certainly more spacious uh, on deck. Uh, I like the fact that sort of uh, the whole work area is everybody together. Uh, which I think will be will be good uh, actually out on the uh, the boat. Uh, it's nice and clean in there and uh, and tidy at the moment. So yeah, so far it looks it looks good. Uh, the amateurs in our race, the so-called amateurs, they very quickly become very good sailors, as good as many professionals. I've never worried about them in that respect. I've often thought I've met some of these professional sailors and thought my guys are better.